What's up? I'm Evan Mike. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I'm just here to be genuine. I'm just here to be real. Welcome to LA on the Rise. It's all about people who are chasing their dreams. And today I'm with a really talented artist. Please introduce yourself. What's up? I'm Evan Mike, and um, I make music. Uh, I'm from Long Island, New York, and uh, I'm 18 and uh, I'm working. That's really it. I was taking a look at one of your songs, Waves. Okay, yeah. You have 30,000 streams on that song. I really focused on, um, for a long time, I was really focused on the streams. I was really looking at the numbers a lot. And um, over time, like as you get the real, as you get the fans that are actually in your messages, in your in your comments, and really showing you genuine love, that just ended up being the only thing that mattered to me. You know, I never, um, I always wanted to see those numbers. You know, I always dreamt of that day that I'll see the 10K. But um, yeah, I've I've just I've been working through it. I've been figuring out the promotion. You know, marketing. I do everything myself. Um, and yeah. It definitely took a long time to figure out what works for me. And I still think there's so much more to figure out. So yeah, you know, I, I, I love the numbers, but um, it's like the real fans that, you know, that really hit home, you know? It, it definitely is, man. You know, having that support, it definitely, you know, gives you that momentum that every artist needs for sure. Yeah. Can you give the secret though? Cause like 30,000 is pretty impressive. Like, could you give the secret to help out some other artists that want to get 30 K on their music? Genuinely think about what you pass on your daily life. If music can be put into that, if you're scrolling on Instagram and you see this video, put your music in it, figure out a way to put your music in anything that you can find. And that's, that's the best, I, that's the best advice I can give. Is, is that how you, you grew it to that point? Like you're just sneaking in your music and like content, I guess? Yeah, uh, a lot of word of mouth around my town. Um, you know, it started off with my friends, you know, I'm just playing the songs for my friends. You know, I'm dropping them on SoundCloud. And then, um, you know, you go to parties, you play your song at the parties. And now you got this other town, they rock with you now. So it started growing on Long Island. And um, from that, yeah, I mean, I've linked up with some great people that have like mentored me through some, some of the marketing strategies that I could use. Mm-hmm. And, um, but a lot of it, I really just figured out by myself and there was nothing, all YouTube really. My whole career, I can <laughs> vote to YouTube, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, man, the the best teacher is YouTube nowadays. <laughs> I, I think I think everybody's searching shit that we need to know yeah. or, or figure out. But uh, congratulations on that, man. That is not easy. And like you said, you were dreaming of 10K and you more than doubled it. So congrats on that. You also have this song called Ho Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that has pretty good numbers too. You got 11,000 plays on SoundCloud, which is pretty good. What's your definition of ho shit? What does that mean? My definition of ho shit is really they're doing something that's just not loyal to you. It could be a friend. It could be a girl. It could be anybody, really. If somebody's on some ho shit, they're not they're not being real with you. You know? Yeah, so like it's kind of like a liar? Yeah, yeah. Or, or someone playing games? Like someone playing games. Someone playing games, someone that's a liar. It's a mix of all those. What inspired that song? Like, did you deal with someone who was giving you ho shit? I mean, yeah, all my songs just come from real life. I mean, I only have my my perspective to talk from. So, um, yeah, it all it all actually happened. All the all the words, you know, and I say true by it. I would consider your style, you know, you got dance songs, you also have some pop songs, but there was this one song I really like called Time. And to me, that's kind of more of a rap song. Yeah, 100%. So when you when you hear a beat, how do you decide if you're going to sing on it or if you're going to rap on it? You know, I just feel it out. It's also the point, it's also to how I feel at the time. Um, if 
I'm um, really feeling like uh, like I need to talk something off my chest, then you know I'm I'm rapping, you know, and um, rap was really like that's that's the first genre that I really fell in love with, and that's um, that's the reason why I started making music, you know, um, just listening to like Kid Cudi, ASAP Rocky, and really got a lot of inspiration from that. Of course, Drake is huge; he's just a mega superstar. So yeah. if you not how could you not look up to him? So, um, yeah, I caught those like influences very early, especially also Bryson Tiller. You can hear yeah. some, uh, some of the R&B like influences in, in the beats. And um, I just take everything that I listen to and I try to make my own. And that's really it. Yeah, bro. You, you definitely got your own like sound and style going on like everything like your vocal tone like all the topics you talk about like you got your own thing going on i like it thank you really yeah dude um so like i said you know you kind of fall in like uh dance but some pop and some rap so like people who don't know your music how do you describe it to them like if they ask you like what's your sound what what do you say i really have not found myself to put myself in a box um i i i couldn't i couldn't give them a specific type of genre and i don't think i would ever really want to have it that way i always want it to be that i have everything that you're looking for i never i never want to put myself in a box i never want to contain myself to one thing that that's cool man because a lot of artists like just local independent artists a lot of them have that mindset and i like that because um you know you're an artist so you're more free you know what i mean instead of always making that rap song or always making that dance song and i i like um artists that experiment and they're gonna um you know like use all the creativity they have so salute to you man because a, lo a lot of artists can't do that a lot of artists do one thing you know very true so props to you for that so a, a couple of songs that I really like that really stood out, like I said, Time is really good. Uh, Body On Me, like I could hear that on the radio tomorrow. That fits right into what's going on. Yeah, thank you. You're, you're welcome, dude. Uh, there was one song you had, Paranoid Dream. Yeah. Bro, that song is a fucking vibe, bro. Yeah, it's gotta be one, one of my favorites that I've ever put out, really. Yo, I, I, that's my favorite song by you. Can, can you explain like the story of that song? All right. Yeah. Um, I actually really tried to write that, like that song was really from the heart. Um, I kind of, as, as the song goes along, um, uh, I'm going over topics that I'm telling myself things. I'm hearing stuff in my own head. I'm telling myself things that I'm my own worst enemy. And um, I need to find a way to put that to the side. I need to find a way to put that away. And I, and all the dreams that I hope to catch, um, you know, they have me up at night, you know, it's, it's really like, I, I really want it that bad. And, um, you know, for years, like I really want it bad. And it was, it was a song that I kind of just wrote from the heart as in, it's like, wake up all these voices and make my mood change. It's like, I'm changing my own mood. I'm making myself feel this way. So I kind of just wanted to, I mean, I wanted to go to California and get some new shades. Like I wanted a girl from the Island and she's cool, Jay, you know? So I, I want to, I want to like my dreams have me paranoid. I'm paranoid that I'm not going to get it. So I'm working for it. That's what the song is really about. I love it, man. I love it. It's just a real song about just yourself and what you're really going through. And bro, it's like everybody who's artist like yourself, everybody has those fucking thoughts. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm not even an artist, but just hearing like the 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 feeling paranoid and this and that and just think about life, I've connected to that a lot. You know, like your other music's really fun and everything, but this one is just there was just something different about it. And I, I could tell. I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. 
So I seen that you recently had a meeting with Tiffany from Trademark Talent. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Shout out to Tiffany and Trademark Talent. I've I've met her a while ago too. So uh, what was that meeting about? Uh, discussing future plans and um, just trying to progress some work. You know, trying to make some more connections. And yeah, great people. Love Tiffany. How did you guys link up? Um. So I have this show that I'm planning. Uh, it's for March 4th. Um, and the guy who owns the venue, he hooked me up with Tiffany. And uh, we started talking from there. And uh, yeah. What made you want to uh, vlog the meeting? I need to put some more of my authentic self out there. And I really want to get out the, uh, I really want to get across to all the fans that I'm just trying to be real. And I'm, I'm just honest, you know, and that's it. I don't want anything to be hidden from anybody. And it's like, that was a good time just to show some personality. You've been grinding with music for four years. Have you noticed, you, you know, cause you, you're, you're, you're growing, you know what I mean? You got the streams, you got the supporters, your music's high quality. Do you see any mistakes that like other local artists are making that you can mention to like maybe help them to get in like the position you're in to like, you know, grow? I think good music is very important. Something that these artists, they don't realize is you have to really listen to your music from a listener's perspective. And uh, good music takes you a very long way. You can have all these other gimmicks, but at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep you around. Authenticity and consistency. And um, yeah, that's really it. That's really good advice because people trying to um, put out music and then do other shit to get attention to their music. You know what I mean? Like the attention they get is not from the music, it's from them doing some dumb shit. A lot of it is just gimmick shit. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I really love Jack Harlow right now, though. Just uh... yeah, well, he, well, he, you see, he's that rare exception of like he really raps, and he don't have no over the top image, and he don't do the crazy antics. Like he's that rare. Like he's all right in my book, but like then you got Island Boys. Yeah, you know I, mean? <laughs> I mean that's that's another situation. You know, whatever gets you attention nowadays. You know, people. Um... People are really are really grinding out there. So one thing for artists just just to know, a lot of people really want it that bad. A lot of people want it a lot more than you want it. So mm -hmm. you got to put in a lot more work than everybody else. Mm -hmm. You got to be working nonstop, and you got to have some faith in yourself. Um, I've had days of uh, doubt, but um, you really gotta really gotta have some confidence in yourself and really just believe that you're going to push through mm -hmm. and so that music good music better than any antics better than any image that you can put together it's very true man and i'm glad you said that because people need to hear this <laughs> they really do <laughs> so i've seen a photo and it was like I'm, I'm guessing it's like your laptop just like placed on your desk and there's a poster mac miller up on the wall is that like someone that inspired you when I was in my room when I was younger, um, when I was, I would say 13, 14, um, still keeping everything private. I never talked about the music I was listening to even till then. Um, and I was, yeah, Mac Miller was one of those things that, uh, it really shaped a lot of the, the music I was making because the lyrics really spoke to what I was living. I, I was never, um, I never wanted to speak on anything that, that wasn't true from the heart, that wasn't from like real experiences. And I felt that um, his music, the words really related, you know? And um, that's why I also like, I really love J. Cole. That's why, uh, that's why I also love like Bryson Tiller. He was like really talking about his emotions and um, Kid Cudi as well. So it was really about lyrics really mattered. Um, so Mac Miller, huge inspiration. Um, yeah. And he is just gone way too soon.
gone way too soon. It sucks. Yeah. And 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 it's funny because looking at that picture of like the the poster that you had, it makes me think like, man, if he was around today, what type of music he was making and he was saying all the shit like you you gotta evolve out as an artist and you know i made this music but not making this music it's like damn we'll never see that next chapter you know what mm -hmm. i mean it sucks but it's good because he inspired people like you so you I'm know what sure. i mean it could it, he, he inspired a lot of fucking people man and it's funny you mentioned j cole because people don't know but i got j cole <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's young Cole. That's a young Cole, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that is young J Cole, but yeah, and also got Mac too. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> I got that same poster. Yeah. When you're not making music, what other hobbies and passions do you have? I love cooking. Um, I like chefing up some fire eats. You know, <laughs> when I'm taking my mind away from the music uh so we cooking in the studio and we cooking in the kitchen yeah we doing all types of cooking really i love painting but i'm not saying they're good i'm just saying i like painting mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and i like hanging out with friends so we are in 2022 it's the new year what are your plans i'm just hoping to um to reach more fans um i want to put out more great music better music uh trying to get my voice better um all aspects um uh, trying to learn more about all cultures of uh learn about all types of music and um really expand my knowledge really expand my view and i think that would help a lot for uh for growth i wish you the best of luck and this was really fun yeah, this is awesome, man. Just before we wrap things up, just shout out where people could follow you and listen to the music. Uh, so you can listen to my music uh, anywhere. Evan Mike with a period at the end. And uh, my Instagram is at Evan Mike underscore underscore. Twitter at Evan Mike chilling. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be chilling all the time, really. Thank you for coming out and doing this, man. Yeah, it was awesome.